Hi, I have a DAWA NVR, I've got a DAWA camera, and then I've got an output to a light. Now, the reason why I have the light there is I'm going to be demonstrating a tripwire, and I'll also demonstrate how the alarm output can be set. And the reason I've got a light there is the alarm output allows me to switch on and off any type of load that I require for the surveillance system. It could be a flood light, could be an alarm, could be a strobe light. The purpose is that once the tripwire is triggered, it will trigger an alarm output. So if I just show you the tripwire, I'm moving across the camera, it should trigger the trip. And there is the uh, light coming on, signifying the alarm output condition. So in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to set that up, and I'll also demonstrate how to do this while logging in with a web browser. Right, the first thing is the manual setup using a monitor which is connected directly to the NVR. Right, so I'm gonna be working with these two cameras. This one is on my desk. It's just facing the wall, and there's a little sticker there, and there is already a tripwire drawn. I will still demonstrate how to do this. And then the other camera I'm gonna be working with is this one over here and there's already a trip wire drawn, and, and as cars drive along this road, it triggers the trip. Right, so in this case, I've got four cameras connected, but one of them is an older generation camera. For example, this camera over here, channel two, does not support IVS. So the first thing is you have to make sure that your camera supports intelligent video surveillance. For example, this camera does, and these two also support it. So what happens is when I log in and I go to AI, it will give me the list of the cameras that are supporting the intelligent video surveillance. So you can see there's only three here. The one camera is an older generation camera, does not support the IVS. Going with channel seven, the first thing is you need to switch it on. So the default layout will look like this. Now what happens is you'll need to enable it. This is like a toggle on and a toggle off switch. So if I go to IVS, it's now asking me what do I want to add here in terms of the different channels. So it's given me all the channels here. It's even got channel two, but when I put channel two and I try and add, it's not allowing me to add anything. So now if I go to channel seven, if I add, you can see it's allowing me to add intelligent video surveillance rules, but the other camera was not allowing that because it's not a feature on that camera. So what do I need to do? Well, all I do is I say add, and then it's asking me, do I want tripwire or intrusion? Well, the point of this video is the tripwire, and then it's asking me to draw it. I'm going to draw a line by clicking on the mouse and then dragging the mouse and I'm just underscoring, I'm underlining that name and then I click it at the end and you can see that it's still attached. So what I'm going to do is right click now. Now the tripwire has been drawn. Now what I do is on the top that's asking me to give it a name. I could, it's fine. I'll just leave it as rule one. Now it's asking me which direction, A to B. And you can see the arrow has changed. It's just going downwards now or you could say B to A. It'll only trigger a trip alarm if the motion is going from this side to that side. So I'll just leave it to both, and then I'll say OK. Now it's asking for the trigger. Now over here it's asking you the setting for the period. When do you want this to work? For example, you can set it per channel. Maybe you only want that channel to offer the IVS in working hours so you could blank off Sunday maybe you could blank off Saturday and then after hours you only want the IVS rule maybe during business hours you know if someone's at the door or whatever it is right so I'm just going to leave this on default because I want it to operate all the time now it's asking me alarm upload you can also send you an email then it asks you which channel you want it to record when it picks up the trip yes so it defaults to that channel you can obviously record other channels for example if there's a trip on channel 7 maybe you want to record all your cameras because maybe there was an intruder and you want to see if there's any accomplices with that intruder and then it's asking for how long to record you can also do a PTZ activation a tour and you can also set a buzzer now in this menu it's not offering me the alarm output earlier I showed you I had that light and the light goes on when the uh, tripwire is triggered that alarm output is not shown here on this software so I will also show you how to do that on the the web login which, which I will still demonstrate right so I say apply and then I say apply over here now I've effectively set a tripwire but very important has it been enabled I have to toggle this on and say apply 
Right, now the last thing is just to set your storage because you want it to record that IVS footage. So when you go to schedule, make sure that you've checked the IVS option and then enable it by just saying all and just scroll along here so that every day has the IVS set. So that means that it will now allow it to save on your hard drive. And that is only for channel one. So you could copy to all channels. You could say all. If you only want it on a certain channel, then you'll just have selected your channel. In this case, I'm just going to copy to all and I'll say OK. Now it will enable that IVS recording to take place. So what I'm going to do is move the screwdriver head in front of that line and see if it will engage the tripwire. Right, so there it caught the head of the screwdriver and then it operated that buzzer. But it did not switch on the light and I will still show you why it did not switch on the light because I didn't enable an alarm output. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to the web login to show you the setup there. Now in this case you will need to know the IP address of your NVR then you will log in. And over here you see a similar interface and I'm clicking AI. And over here on the right is where I need to look and I go to IVS and I go to parameters. I'm not looking for search at the moment. I'm looking for parameters. These are the settings in order to enable the IVS. So you can see there is channel 7. It's already been enabled. But if I go to the IVS and I scroll down here for channel 7, it will show me the rule which was already created, which I created at the NVR with the directly connected monitor. But now I'm logging in via a web browser and it's also easy to set it up over here. And here you can also draw the rule. There's the rule. I've already drawn it. So I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to apply. Say so, OK. And now what I want to do is just set the alarm output. So the same settings are here, the direction, just the layout is different. One extra feature which is right here by the AI is the alarm out. So if I set the alarm out, I can now check this tick box and now it's asking me alarm out one or two. Now on this NVR, it's got two relays. So I can control or switch on and off two devices. In this case, I'm just going to choose alarm out one. And then it's asking me for how long. So I'm going to set that for three seconds. That means it's going to switch on that light for three seconds. So in summary, what I've done now, when I move across this tripwire, it will trigger and it will record and it will switch on the light, which I'll now demonstrate. Right, so I'm back at the camera and this is what the camera sees. So there's the camera and I'll be moving the screwdriver head across the camera, across the trip line and it will trigger the trip, it will record the channel but it will also have the alarm output. Now on this NVR there are two alarm outputs in the form of NO1 and C1 and then NO2 C2 which is at the bottom there. So it, different NVRs have different layouts. You might find you only have one relay output, you might even have four and the pinouts may be a little bit different. The point is, is I'm using the relay output. So I'm using the relay to open and close a circuit. In this case it's a floodlight and I've got a little battery which is connected to this 12 volt floodlight. So there's my 12 volt battery. This is a 12 volt floodlight just for this example and there on the left is the camera. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trigger the trip wire which will then allow the light to turn on as an alarm output based on the trip wire. So I'm taking my screwdriver head and moving it along here and hopefully it will trigger the trip wire. And there it did. It's triggered it and the light will stay on for the latch time of three seconds. All right, I'm back at the web login and I'm just going to create a real life example. I'm going to parameters. I've got an IVS. This time it'll be channel 14 and I'm going to just draw the rule now. So I'm just going to say plus and now it says please draw rule. So I'm going to now draw across the road. As you can see, anyone walking across that road, I click there and there is the rule. And now I just need to say set. Now I just need to say OK. And then I can set the alarm output. I'll set it uh, in this case just for five seconds. So in this case, the light will also come on and it's also set for both directions. And I'll just say OK. Now the last thing is just to enable that. So if I go to number 14, I've got to turn it on. Otherwise it won't work. Right now I'm back at the monitor side and I'm just going to double click here and when the trip wire and the IVS is enabled you will actually see it across the screen here. So next time a car or a pedestrian walk past it will activate and it will actually show it to me. Right so there comes a car and there we go.
it's triggered the trip wire and the light on my desk has now switched on. So for example, if I want to play back some of that recorded footage, I click playback and now I'll look for channel 14 and notice that I'm only going to check the box that says IVS. There it is. And if I try and play that channel, so for example here, this person walked across that tripwire and that is why it only recorded here. Right, so good luck with your installation. Thanks for watching and cheers.